Rule number one of the Royal Rumble. If you see Kane, run as far away as humanly possible. The Rumble match is known for WWE superstars putting on show-stealing Iron Man performances to outlast 29 other wrestlers for just look at Daniel Bryan's insanely long endurance record of lasting 76 minutes in a single Royal Rumble and by the end of the match his body looked absolutely brutalized from the beating that he took. But that isn't always the case since there have also been several incidents where an entrant has gone in and out of the Rumble so quickly that they're already back at catering by the time you realize that someone's been eliminated. And here are 15 of the fastest eliminations in the history of the Royal Rumble. Number 11. Gilberg. 6 seconds. Who could ever forget the time when Vince McMahon, the most loved jobber in pro wrestling history? Entering at number 6 in 1999's Royal Rumble, Gilberg's spoof entrance was longer than his time in the match itself since Edge dumped the jobber out in 6 seconds with comical ease when Gilberg stupidly climbed the second rope in the Rumble match to pose for the fans. So Gilberg went out the same way he came in, mocking Goldberg in flexing his less than perfect physique. Number 10. The Godfather. 5 seconds. Everyone loved The Godfather's 2013 return to WWE as a surprise entrance into the Royal Rumble because, well, it was actually a surprise and that's rare these days. No one was expecting the pimp from Red Light District to show up, but he did and he entered in style at number 17. However, The Godfather's history with the Rumble hasn't been easy and while the whole arena grooved with his iconic ring walk, Dolph Ziggler wasn't a fan and he eliminated The Godfather with a dropkick as soon as he entered the match to send him back to his ladies. With his official time in the Rumble stopping at 5 seconds, The Godfather was gone so fast that his entrance music hadn't even stopped playing, so he cut his losses and exited the arena the same way he entered it, in style. Number 9. Bushwhacker Luke. 4 seconds. I'm not sure why, but for some reason, WWE persisted that Bushwhacker Luke had set a rather unfortunate record for the shortest time in a Rumble match at the 1991 Royal Rumble. I mean, the elimination was quite the sight as the future Hall of Famer came marching to the ring at lucky number 27 with a trademark Bushwhacker walk, stomped through the crowd of opponents in a straight path through the ring directly into the clutches of the Earthquake, who swiftly eliminated him from the Rumble in 4 seconds and Bushwhacker Luke Luke marched right back to the locker room without skipping a beat. Although the original record belonged to someone else on our list, fans had no problem going along with WWE just because of the humorous nature of this elimination. Number 8. Jerry the King Lawler 4 seconds By 1997, although Jerry Lawler had transitioned into an on-screen commentating role in the WWE, the King still worked as a part-time wrestler and that was the case when his entrance music bled through the Alamo Dome at entry number 22. Although Lawler was working the event as a color commentator alongside Jim Ross and Mr. McMahon, the King took off his royal coat to reveal his ring, spent the rest of the night continuously babbling about entering the Rumble despite having already been eliminated. Number 7. Titus O'Neil, 4 seconds. Titus O'Neil's Royal Rumble appearances have been memorable to say the least. There's no way that that former primetime player will ever be able to live down his iconic Titus World slide and it might actually land him into the Hall of Fame someday. But one of his less famous spots came at the 2015 Royal Rumble where Vince had supposedly booked O'Neill to tie the one second record for the fastest elimination in Royal Rumble history. However, as O'Neill climbed into the ring, Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose were supposed to eliminate him with a double running clothesline, but a miscue from all three superstars botched the spot and his time in the match ended at four seconds. Impressively unfortunate, but not record time and that left Vince fuming. Number 6. Owen Hart, 3 seconds. Owen vs Brett was undoubtedly one of the best feuds of the 90s and the animosity that both brothers had for each other at the time spilled into the Royal Rumble of 1995 when Brett attacked Owen before the latter could enter the match. Still, the King of Heart managed to stumble his way into the ring but ran straight towards Davy Boy Smith and the British Bulldog gave Owen a back body drop over the top rope to eliminate him from the match in only 3 seconds. 
Number 5. Xavier Woods, 3 seconds. Back in the 2019 Rumble, Woods entered the match at number 17 at just the right time because as soon as he got to the ring, Drew McIntyre sent Kofi Kingston over the top rope and Woods managed to save his New Day teammate in a very unique way as the Scottish psychopath watched in visible disgust. But right when Woods and Kofi jumped the ring apron, McIntyre clotheslined both of them out of the Rumble match and although Kofi had a decent 9 minute showing, Woods only lasted 3 seconds. Number 4. The Warlord 2 seconds Back when winning the Royal Rumble was nothing but bragging rights, the Warlord had the misfortune of entering the 1989 Rumble match during one of Hulk Hogan's trademark Super Hulk streaks and ended up being eliminated by the Hulkster in only 2 seconds. Steps in. setting the record for the fastest elimination in Royal Rumble history that would stand for 20 long years. But for reasons unknown, WWE forgot the Warlord's two-second claim to shame in favor of Bushwhacker Luke for a good chunk of a decade. Number 3. Sheamus, 2 seconds Vic, who was enraged at being eliminated himself and the one-man band, spent the next 10 minutes trying to crawl to the ring, but the next five entrants had no regard for the fact that Slater had kids and he became sort of a punching bag. That was until the Celtic warrior came along and rolled Slater into the ring, but with Seamus intending to put him out of his misery, Slater surprised the Irishman with a clothesline out of nowhere. And at number two, no way Jose, two seconds. Not only did the 2019 Rumble crush Austin Creed's dreams in the blink of an eye, but no way Jose also danced his conga line down the ridiculously long walkway, only to be met by a vicious clothesline from Samoa Joe. And just like that, his first and only Royal Rumble appearance ended in two seconds, but Jose just wanted to have fun and left to go party with his conga line. Number 1. Santino Marella, 1 second Did you know that at one point in his career, the Milan Miracle, Santino Marella held an undefeated record in WWE and conquered the Samoan bulldozer Umaga for the Intercontinental title? Even John Cena hasn't been able to win that championship, but Santino did it twice. In fact, when it comes to the Royal Rumble, the twin brother of Miss WrestleMania almost won the 2011 edition of the match. I'm not even kidding. Santino survived until the final two and placed runner-up to Alberto Del Rio. However, 2009 wasn't the year of the Cobra, and when Santino drew number 28 in the Rumble, the ring was packed with legendary wrestlers like The Undertaker, Kane, Triple H, CM Punk, Rey Mysterio, Chris Jericho, RVD, Randy Orton, and The Legacy. Determined to throw everyone over the top rope and headline WrestleMania, Santino rushed to the ring but ran directly into Kane and found himself on the receiving end of a clothesline by The Big Red Machine that eliminated him from the match in 1.9 seconds, breaking the Warlord's record by a tenth of a second. Although Santino had a fair dispute that he wasn't ready, rules are rules and despite Vince's best efforts to recreate this historic moment, Santino still has the recognition of being the only man in the history of WWE that can lay claim to having the shortest time in a Royal Rumble match, all thanks to the devil's favorite demon. But a lot of people think that WWE booking its wrestlers to be eliminated in such an embarrassingly short amount of time is disrespectful to his talent. However, you've got to understand that there has to be 29 other losers for a Rumble winner to be crowned. Not everyone can have Iron Man performances, but sometimes these comedic spots are what's most memorable about the Rumble. So tell me, what are some of your favorite Rumble moments, and who do you think would be the next wrestler to tie or even break Santino's record, if it's even possible? Let me know in the comment section down below.